Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's AY coming at you with another vlog. This time today I'm in Liverpool at Liverpool's very own museum. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys if you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is literally slap bang at Middle Town Centre pretty much. Uh, for anyone who is interested in coming and don't know where it is, you've even got the Liverpool, um, you've even got the Mersey Tunnel there, which takes you um, off to Wallace, sort of a Wirral area. Um, two pound a car, four pound for a class two. Ooh. We've got, to, and you just see it through the trees. I'll just very quickly get this in on video because I love this tower. It's Radio City 96.7 FM. Yep, it's the radio station. Sorry about that, my camera just cut out a little bit. See if we can actually see anyone working in there. Yep, we can. We can see people walking about. Crazy as the zoom on this phone. Anyway, uh, the main reason I'm here is to check out the museum, guys. So we're going to go in and have a look round. The admission is free, and I'll come back to you with a little bit more information. So yeah, this is the World Museum in Liverpool um, and it's got information and stuff covering uh, archaeology which uh, West Audit Report would love it's a shame he can't be with us today and uh, natural sciences uh, so we're going to go inside and check it out like I said, it is free uh, for anyone who wants to come it's a beautiful day today in Liverpool as well uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, Briefly stop recording um, as I go in. Uh, speak to the staff, let them know what I'm doing. Use the toilet and I'll pick it back up, guys. Yeah, just before I go in, we've got a marble sculpture of Venus sleeping. Roman 2nd century AD, purchased by Andrew Blundell from a sale of the collections of the Earl of Vesper, 1801. Pause that and read that at your own leisure. Uh, apparently it's members and under 17 year olds go free, buy your tickets at the information desk. Even though it does say it's free online. Right, so we're just on level two guys. Um, this place is absolutely jam packed. Um, I'm not even joking you. Uh, picked a bit of a bad day uh, to come really because I think there's some kind of school trip or something going on uh, so if my camera keeps cutting out and going on to certain bits um, you know why it's basically just to cut certain people out don't want to be getting any um, any children on my video look at the aquarium here Pretty cool. Yeah, so as you probably heard, guys, it is very, very, very busy today. Like I said, there's some kind of school trip. Um, I'm literally just come onto one of the floors. Oh, starfish. That's a starfish, you know, it actually is, isn't it? Wow. That's 
true, is it? Detail on that is magnificent. Right, so this stuff here is um, they might look like plants. They're actually animals related to, to the starfish. Uh, they have stinging tentacles uh, which they use for protection and to grab food such as plankton, crabs and small fish. Um, and we've got some crown fish in here so this is salt water. Uh, slime of skin allows them to live. Oh, it stings of a fish apparently, the slime on the skin. So it protects the uh, fish from predators. That's pretty cool. So yeah, these are actually alive, crazy. And they're related to starfish, which will explain the little starfish there. Let's see if we can zoom right in on it. on like I said uh, moving on to aquarium I'll just have to pause it and pick it back up make sure I don't get any anyone in my video I shouldn't do uh, welcome to the aquarium here you will meet animals from around the world from warm tropical seas to the colder waters of Liverpool we are home to fish amphibians terrapins and invertebrates including octopus Crustaceans, coral. Our team of enthusiastic experts enjoy teaching and talking about the animals they care for. It's the second oldest aquarium in the world. Um, there's been an aquarium in this museum since 1857. Since then, we have studied and looked after animals in our care. We also work with scienti other scientists uh, to help save endangered species and habitats. Uh, hopefully, I will be amazed um, by what I see. Seventy percent of the planet is covered with so what? Uh, uh, we already know that. Uh, feel free, guys, to, to sort of pause and read any of this at your own leisure. Uh, so this tank, for some reason, is empty. Sea horses are the only fish that swim upright. Interesting. Hmm. Some of this is good, good interesting stuff. We've got starfish there. I'll just make that out. Nice big old starfish. in here. Well, look at the size of that one. That is huge. Oh, 
That was a nice fish. It's eyeballing me as well. Just give you a bit of a sort of look to see how big that tank is. Massive. I mean, to see it on camera it wouldn't do it justice. To be honest with you, it's absolutely beautiful. Go we'll see what else for this. Yeah, so we've got the mangroves. Did you know that mangroves are the only trees that live in salt water? They get rid of the excess salt through their leaves. That's really cool. So I'll just wait for these to move and then I'll uh, show you the beautiful fishes. Right, so this is what we've got in this wood. Tank. So there the um just try not to get these kids in on the bloody picture, but the awkward things of the trees living in the salt water. But yeah, I've never I was always saying earlier and I thought we were recording and I want but I've never been to a museum that's got an aquarium in. So this is something really, really good for this channel. It's something different, it's something very interesting. Where is the fish? Where is the fish? Yeah, it's in there, yeah. I mean, the, seeing these on, on here really don't give them justice because they're much bigger of a look. Right, we've got rare skates and sharks in this one, guys. They may look different, but rare skates and sharks are part of the same group. Uh, they're all found in our oceans. The UK alone is home to 41 species of shark, 22 species of rare and skate. Most sharks have smooth, streamlined bodies, ideal for swimming. They feed on sick animals and are important for an alpha ecosystem. Rares and skates have flattened bodies, which are suited to living on the sea floor. Sharks have been around for more than 400 million years, since before the dinosaurs. Uh, they're in danger of extinction due to overfishing, climate change and habitat loss. These are absolutely huge. Oh no, it's not dead. Well, I could dead, but his face is right way up. 
That must be skate or string or string. Yeah, that's true. A lot of terrapins do get illegally abandoned, most die during cold weather. Uh, those that survive compete with native species, wildlife, and destroy birds' nests. So we're actually, you can actually, uh, you can go under here. We're at some uh, terrapins now. You can actually go under look and have a look. That's crazy. So. <laughs> Where is it? And you can look inside here, look as well. Just about make a visit now, you can make, make a couple out down there. Just see them down there, look. Being a bit boring, we're not swimming about. Right, so, that's it for fishies, I think. Um, yeah, that's it for fishies. We're going to go up to the next floor, guys. Right, just very quickly, guys. I've come into a room where no one's here. Um, oh, God, they give it creeps. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point the camera at all these and you can pause and read at your own leisure. I'm a bit of a uh, sissy when it comes to spiders. I don't like them. Bugs and all that kind of stuff so... Oh no, so you can read them at your own leisure and look at them. Um, Oh my god, scorpion fly, that's absolutely huge. Fly on steroids. Um, some kind of theatre entrance. Anyway, we'll go upstairs now. Right guys, we've come into the book house. Do you know, I went to a museum in Bradford which I need to upload onto this channel and it will nowhere near as busy as it is in here. Can't believe how busy it is in this place. Look at the size of that. Fruit beetles in here. You ever seen a fruit beetle, guys? That's a fruit beetle. <coughs> Give us 
是啊。Guys, I've just come around here and I don't know what these are. Oh, it's an ant. Check that out, ants at work. It's carrying some up the uh, rope. Oh, it's going to come out, look. Oh, that's sick. So the ants, um, leaf cutter ants, these are. So we can actually crawl that, climb up there on that rope and go across. You see them all walking about on it, look. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, walking along, toddling along with the food. That's sick. I've never actually uh, witnessed ants doing that before. That is pretty cool. What's through here? Uh, we've got a corn natural history centre here. I need to be a bit quicker and all, I think, guys. I've got um, my parking runs out at free. So we've got some dead on it, dead fish. We've got a European eel. <clears throat> stuff in here, isn't there? Oh no, snakes. Oh god. Some of them give it um chill, you know, send chills up my back some of these creepy stuff. So we've got a catfish. Oh no, a cat shark and a viper. Dead viper just randomly knocking about in a jar of water. Oh my god, a chameleon. One horned chameleon. I'm going to ask them why they keep all these in here. And this is an American alligator. Obviously, long dead. But yeah, all kinds of different reptiles and fish there. All in jars. Um, I'm going to try and find out why they're sort of like... There. To be honest. Oh, 
I mean, taxidermy, I can't I sort of get, do you know what I mean? But dead reptiles in jars of water, what's all that about? We've got a wild boar here as well. Look. Condor vulture. Wow. This camera really doesn't do these guys justice. This vulture is massive. It's a South American mountain vulture that can have eight or oh, a wingspan of 3.3 meters, weigh up to 12 kilos. They can live for 70 years and nests have been found 5,000 meters away. Great Oak, extinct. It's got it's got to be like monkey skulls. It's crazy. So I'm going to come back to you with that information, guys. Basically, um, well, I wait, wait until I walk back over to him, and I'll tell you what the gentleman who works here is discussed with me. Yeah, so when I was looking, I was just looking in the uh, in that room down there. Basically, right, these um, the reason that it, they're not in water, it's alcohol. Um, and yeah, the reason they are um, sort of like what did he say? The preserved in the alcohol is is so they don't rot because these are uh, they have been and they still are used for um, experiments so that's absolutely bonkers that's crazy yeah let's move on to the next bit yeah this, this place is just absolutely massive it's awesome. Ah, right, let's go up to the next floor. So we're just going to go into the Western Discovery Centre. Let's have a quick look in here.
ลึกถึงแต่แต่ตอกตรงไหนไว้ตอกให้คุณกินWelcome to Asia. Here you will discover how Asia has traded with uh, the West for over 2,000 years. So we're in Asia now, guys. Let's go to ancient Egypt. Is modern Egypt. That's very interesting. It's a little bit about the river Nile.
get a crack on my uh, parking runs out soon. The people are being shit. to life. It's the afterlife section. So the Egyptians are barrier. Return of a mummy. Uh, well, we'll go up to the next floor and then I think we're going to have to wrap it up, um, guys. Just before we do, I didn't see this. This is the mummy room. What do you think mummies smell like? Mouldy, musty or rotten? If they're actually all looked at, kept dry, they can smell quite pleasant like an old book. During mummification, Barnum's coated the body with sweet smelling liquids to the mask of, uh, mask of smell of decay. Explore the smells in these tubes to find out more.
guys. It's probably done. smell of oat. See what this yellow one smells like. That oh, smells like an old book. Um, that one. It smells absolutely vile. <clears throat> Let's go up to the next floor guys. Oh God, we're only on the fourth floor, so this is endangered plants area. Let's check this out. I've got some dinosaur stuff up here as well. Is this like, like a model of the museum or something? That's oh, pretty cool. Dinosaurs and endangered plants in the picnic area, space time and the planetarium is upstairs. I think you have to pay for planetarium. For space time, I don't think you do. Hey, we've got some dinosaurs. Oh, this is pretty sick. Let's have a look at this. Like a little mini, like a little mini safari. Yeah, like a little mini safari. It's pretty cool. Little birds. Oh, I've got a free toad sloth. And I've got an ocelot. Small cat. No idea what that is. Um, Fruits of the forest.
Oh, I think that's it for this for this uh, this part. Quite good in there, actually. Right, guys, we're on the fifth and final floor, which is good because my parking ticket is due to expire in about ten minutes. So let's see what we can get done in here. This is uh, space. Space uh, Centre. Just feel this door, we've got space, time, and planetarium. This way! Thank you. No worries, mate. Cost a fortune, look how all that one is. Yeah, so there's not much more else down there, to be honest, just telescopes and shit, you know. Um, some video about I do putting in, putting an aspirin in a bubble of water or something in space. Time to get back downstairs, man. Got a better view at the station now, look. Guys, I 
I'm absolutely pie-eyed. So, I'm being lazy. And I'm going to get the lift all the way back down there. This has been a, an amazing adventure. Um, a pretty cool, in vlog, a pretty cool vlog. Uh, one, of, one of the best museums I've visited, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to show you a quick look at the foyer when you come in uh, before I leave. And then we're going to wrap it up, guys. Right, so I'm just back in the foyer, guys. That's a Japanese spider crab. Um, just back in the foyer. Um, I don't know if you can record in here, it just says stuff about no flash photographer. Uh, I don't know if you can record, I never asked. Um, which is why I've decided to do the foyer last. And then if I say, oh, you can't record, you can't film, etc., 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 I'm leaving anywhere. But yeah, floors one to five, guys, that's where we've just been. Main entrance in there, we've got a uh, cafe and all that jazz um, in that section and then back to the main entrance we've got cloak rooms and we've got a shop with a, uh, a memorabilia and stuff like that that's pretty cool um, so yeah we'll see you back on the outside right guys just on my way back out, I decided to have a quick look in the shop. Uh, there are some really cool stuff in there. Um, stuff from, like, this, you know, NASA, uh, Egyptian stuff, uh, you know, uh, Roman stuff. There's, all, there's all, all kinds of stuff. Um, really, really, really cool place. Really, really enjoyed this vlog and got absolutely zero uh, trouble from anyone. Nobody questioned me, uh, which is how it should be. So it's shut on a Monday. Uh, if you ever do want to come here, it's closed on a Monday. It's open 10 till four uh, the rest of the week, Tuesday to Sunday. Um, just Google Liverpool museums uh, for more information, guys. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video guys, please like, comment and subscribe, show us your love, and share the video, uh, it helps the channel out massively, I know I've not got a big following on this channel, I don't know, I don't get a massive amount of views, but there are people out there uh, what do love the channel, what it stands for, what I do, what I post, um, so yeah, you know, just show your love, show your support, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one guys, bye for now.